What's up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombone is here with a live masterclass on YouTube. If you're watching this live, go ahead and put live in the chat. If you're on the replay, go ahead and comment replay so we can keep track of everything that we need to keep track of in our life. So I will get playing and tell people join in the room. <laughs> all right can you hear the audio okay let me know in the chat if you can hear this okay because we will get started there's three things i want to talk about today the first thing i want to talk about is there's really only three ingredients you need to get your stuff together on a brass instrument and you can really divide up everything into three categories and the first category we really need to talk about is long tones so the more long tones you do the better your sound becomes so i want you to remember that so if you ever want to get a better sound I'm telling you right now that the more long tones you do, the better your sound becomes. It's a fascinating concept. And it's a combination of doing long tones, but not just doing long tones. Doing long tones while you listen to players you admire sound. So what you want to do is you want to listen to a ton of different players that you really enjoy their sound. It resonates with you. And then you have that concept embedded in your brain. And when you have that concept embedded in your brain, what ends up happening is it starts to come out of you. A lot of learning an instrument is really through osmosis. You got to think about when you were a child, right? When you were a child and you were learning English, we needed to listen to the people that raised us. And that allowed us to mimic that. So this is the same thing with learning an instrument. You got to really have that concept in your mind. Okay. So the first component is we really need to get our sound together. So that's ingredient one. So let's talk about that. How do we do that? Well, what we want to do is we want to really imagine that we have a, you ever go into like a church and there's like a pipe organ and when they hit down a key, it's like, oh, that kind of concept we need to have when we do long tones on a brass instrument. Because when you have control of that type of wall of sound, what ends up happening is you have more control of it when you do shorter durations rhythmatically. Does that make sense? Give me a five in the chat if that makes sense. Okay. So one of the things I like to do is I like to practice the long tones totally with the metronome. We want to have the metronome going because that's going to prepare us for the real world because music is in time. So if we're practicing, we might as well practice in time, right? So we have the metronome. I always got one on my phone because we might as well have it going, okay? And what we do, we start slow. We can do like 60 beats per minute. So this exercise right here is really going to allow your sound to, to be good, all right? You got this? 60 beats per minute. So I like to do four beats of sound, four beats of silence, and I start on the middle left. It goes like this. Um. So I just do that all the way down. Now, what happens there on this camera? What happens there is that it trains you on how to manage your airflow. So since this is a wind instrument, 
wouldn't you agree it would make sense to have control over your wind? Yes or no in the chat. I can see your chats. Yes or no in the chat. Does it make sense? Yes or no? If it's a wind instrument, wouldn't it make sense to have control of the wind? So this is what we do. We do this to control the wind. All right. So it's pretty cool. And what's up, Daniel? I see you. I see you, Helen. I see you. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So that's what we want to do. Okay. So check it out. So you do that every day. It's it's the most important. If you were to actually talk about what's the most important, let's get this camera going. This is so important. The long tones are the most important. There is nothing more important than long tones. Nothing. It's the most important. I do them every single day. I've been doing them for 30 some years every day. First thing when I wake up. Okay. So that's the first ingredient to becoming more comfortable on your brass instrument. The second ingredient that we need to have dialed in is our tonguing because that is our articulation. It's just like when you are speaking. Imagine I'm speaking like this. Can you understand what I'm saying? Not so much, right? But if I say, imagine if we're speaking, can you understand what I'm saying? What was the difference between those two? The difference is the articulation. The articulation is the difference. So we need to strengthen our articulation on our brass instrument because it's going to allow you to have clarity when you play. And when you have clarity when you play, you can communicate better. When you can communicate better, that means the audience understands what you're doing. And when the audience understands what you're doing, they get more value from what you're conveying through your instrument. Make sense? Yes or no in the chat. Yeah. What's up? Those just joining us, we're having a little discussion here. It's important. We're having some important conversation. All right. So there's that. So how do we practice that? Well, what we want to do is we want to practice it. There's a lot of different variations you can do. You can, we want to strengthen our ta. That's the articulation I like to use a lot, ta. We want to uh, strengthen our da. And there's just different placements of the tongue that we need to strengthen so we can articulate depending on what type of emotion we want to convey on our instrument. Does that make sense? So it's very simple. We start slow. Got the metronome going again. And here's one exercise you can do. Straight up going ta 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 ta. Then I'm just going down chromatically, okay? And I'm really focusing on the time because if you don't get this together and your time's not cool when you're practicing, just like chilling, well, forget about it when you're on the bandstand when you're performing. It's going to go out the window. So, a lot of the reason a lot of people have a horrible time, you'll notice a lot of musicians when you hear them perform and whatever, and it's because they're not practicing in time, okay? So if you were to actually look at every single musician in the world that's really good and like, what do they have in common? Well, I would say more than anything, they all have a very strong command of their time. Okay. So that's really important. So I want you all to know that there's an infinite number of exercises that you can use with these three ingredients that I'm presenting for you today. Okay. There's an infinite number of exercises. I'm just giving you some simple ones to get the ground running. It never ends. There's always, you can add to your repertoire of exercises you actually get to a point in your life the more you play that you invent your own exercises it's pretty fascinating so just keep that in mind that there's a lot of them okay now let's go back to ingredient number one who can tell me here right now in the chat what was ingredient number one to becoming a good brass musician so we're giving you the three ingredients right now what's ingredient number one Let me know in the chat, what's ingredient number one? What is it? Yes, your air, long tones. 
long tones. Okay. Now also let's go back talk about that. So long tones, if you do these, you also want to start them with no tongue. You want to be able to control playing your instrument without any tongue whatsoever. Okay. Like none whatsoever. And that means just going, ah, uh, like that with no tongue. Okay. So check this out. That's all air. Okay. So we want to do that. Why? Because when you add the tongue, it's icing on the cake and you have more control. Does that make sense? Give me a five in the chat if that makes sense. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Does that make chance? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So we have long tones, right? We have articulations, tonguing exercises, okay? And what's the third ingredient? Who can guess here? We go to camera number two. Whoa, camera number two. What's the third ingredient, camera number two? We'll talk about it. There we go. That's a better lighting. What's third ingredient? Third ingredient is lip slurs, lip slurs, lip slurs, lip slurs. Okay. So lip slurs. And to really kind of simplify what a lip slur is, it's simple. A lip slur is straight up navigating through your instrument without using any tongue and only air. And the more command you have over that, the more you command you have over your brass instrument. Okay. So we do these lip slur exercises to train ourselves on how to navigate our air through the different partials, the different pitches. And when you do this, it really allows you to have command of, over the brass instrument. It's got to strengthen the muscles here and strengthen our ability on our instrument. So there's an infinite number of exercises you can do. But here's some examples. Here's a simple one. Did everyone hear that one? It's very simple, but it's very effective. F, B flat, F, B flat, F. F, B flat, F, B flat, F. That's what we do. We don't mess around here. We just get right to it. All right? And then you just do that going down half steps. The more you get comfortable with these, the more you can really embellish these lip slurs. Like, you can get insane. Okay? It can get insane. So check it out. And you get command like that. And obviously you practice these with a metronome. Okay? You get command like that. Okay? Now, what else happens? Well, what ends up happening is you start to really strengthen your command over the air, command over the muscles here, and the control over your instrument. The long tones allow you to get a good sound. The articulation exercises allow you to have clarity and the notes that you're playing in a musical idea. And those are the three ingredients to really get really good at brass playing. Okay, so then it gets to a point where you can just play fluid when you combine them all like this. Does everyone see that? How does that happen? Long tones, lip slurs, and articulations. And you got to hit on all three of those every single day. Okay? So was this helpful? Let me know in the chat if this was helpful.
Was this helpful today? So if if you're practicing, which you should if you want to get good at your instrument, you got to hit on all three of these every single day. Is helpful? Cool. What if there was a way we can go deeper on this? What if there was a way I can share some more insights? I had some more systems to share with you. I had different exercises that were designed to help you get to where you want to go faster. Would anybody be interested to know more about that and how that can help you? Give me a yes or no in the chat. Yeah. Cool. All right, so I have something very special just for everyone that's on this masterclass, and it's only available to the first 20 people. So I have a course called Trombone Secrets. It's helped hundreds of trombone players, okay? So for everybody watching this, I'm going to do something special for the first 20 people. If you go to the URL, paulthetrombonist.com slash secret, there's going to be an option to have a coupon code. The coupon code is 100 off. So I'm giving everyone here, the first 20 people, $100 off of that course. And it's only available to the first 20 people. So all you got to do is go to paulthetrombonist.com slash secret. And then it's going to ask for the promo code. It's 100 off, all lowercase. 100 is the number, no spaces. And then when you put the coupon code in, it's going to scroll back up to the top of that page again and then go all the way down and you'll see the discounted tuition for this course. And it's only available to the first 20 people. Okay? So you can go ahead and do that. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. There'll be more tips, little gems of wisdom that I can throw your way. And I appreciate you all. If you found value in this, go ahead and click like. Go ahead and click like so our other friends of trombone can see something like this. All right. This is Paul the Trombonist and my little JJ. Come here. My little poodle JJ here. He's hiding, but he's cute. <laughs> okay. I appreciate you all so much. It's Paul the Trombonist. Thanks for joining me today on this Trombone Masterclass. Bye bye.